Broadway is back on stage at the Tanger Center again. This time we're treated to Dear Evan Hansen. And we have two of the stars of the show joining us today, Jessica Sherman and John Hemphill. Thanks so much for spending some time with us. Absolutely. What a pleasure. A pleasure. Okay, so I we're, we're talking via Zoom, but I understand you are in Greensboro. And, and at the time of the recording, this is before the, the show actually launches in Greensboro. But you're here. So what do you think about it so far? Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. Great. Yeah, it's really, really a beautiful place and it's been fun. We had a, a day to kind of uh, get around and explore uh, as we got here and that and that was really nice. So it's a just a charming, charming place. So thanks for having us. <laughs> Love it. So this is actually the relaunch for Dear Evan Hansen here in Greensboro for the national tour. What is that like? John, I'll let you start to 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 be back at it, to be back on stage in front of a live audience. What does that mean to you? It means everything. I, I We've been in the studio for the past month. So we, we got on the stage yesterday for the first time. And I, I got to tell you, it just, it, you kind of got shivers. Well, I did anyway, and it, it just felt like coming home in a way so i am i am really excited to get people in, in into the theater and to be able to share this again because that's a big part of, of what we do is we get to share these stories and and we've been without that for too long so i'm really excited and jessica for you what is it like being back what are you most looking forward to i guess about about that experience well it, i mean it's it's such a conversation with the audience, you know, and having been isolated, truly isolated for so long, the um, know, knowing that connection is still going to be out there and that there's that many people who, you know, have have also been craving that kind of connection. I mean, that's the, the wonder of theater versus film or television is it is a conversation with with the audience and the actors and it's, you know, live in person, so to speak. And and um and it, it's it's just such a thing of magic, really right. is. Well, and, and you said a good word, I think that kind of leads me into talking about Dear Evan Hansen, connection, right? It, it's such a story about connection on so many levels. Um, for those who don't know this story, Jessica, can you kind of give us a little preview of, of, of what, what we're in for? Uh, yes, you're in for a, 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 a very remarkable story um, with a lot of depth. Um, eight fully fledged characters who go on um, real life changes that I, I would struggle that anybody in the audience wouldn't see themselves in somebody. Um, the the basic story, you know, the, the plot points follow um, Evan Hansen, who um, is a teen who really struggles to connect with his peers and with his mom. Um, but that seeking connection, uh, you, you sort of realize that everybody is struggling with that and um and, and it really is a, a show about connection and about finding each other and reaching out uh in times of crisis and it's it's beautiful yeah. and and that it's a message that really resonates for people right now maybe more than ever absolutely before. um both of you play parents in this and in and you know the show dear evan hansen it is of course about evan hansen and the central role is, is a young person and in his struggles of, of connection but the, there's this uh, these stories about the connection with the parents. Um, you play Evan Hansen's mom, and and building that connection. And one of the first songs in the show really, I think, speaks to what every parent feels. You know, you know, can I get a map? You know, how do I do this? Am I doing the right things? You know, I'm learning as I go. You know, what what is it about that character that really resonates for you? Oh my days, she is. I see myself in her and I see her in me all the time it, because because we are all struggling to figure it out whether it's in parenting whether it's you know in our careers or just in relationships with other people you know everybody thinks somebody else has the answer and really nobody does so true John you play you play the dad the of the other dad uh, mm -hmm. Connor Murphy's dad in in this in the show and and it's a, it's a very different relationship because you're looking back on your relationship with your son. What what about that role do you love and what is it that's really hard? Well, they're probably the same thing. I think um, this is a this is a challenging time 
to be a parent. I, I suppose every time is, is a challenging time, but um, with such um, demands on young people as far as social media and um, and kind of the, the challenges of, of that and being a parent in that is in trying to manage manage that um, parenting schedule amidst this kind of the, the, the chaos of, of social media is a challenge. But I think for this character in particular, as you say, looking back, um, we, we um, hindsight is, is 2020, of course. And I think this character has to reckon with choices made and how he went about parenting and, and dealing with things which are really hard to share <laughs> in front of 2,500 people, you know. But there's, there's, it's also exhilarating to be able to tell that story. And that's the hardest and the most uh, rewarding thing is to be able to tell the story of, of parenting in this age, you know. Yeah. I had a friend who told me that his son looked at him during the show and said, is that how you feel? Mm. Is that how you feel being my dad? And- oh my God, and that said, actually just made me cry a little bit. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think special. that, you know, there are moments of epiphany and things that, you know, you take away from seeing yourself or seeing others or, or seeing, you know, possible relationships play out on the stage. What, what for you, what have you learned? What has this show taught you? Um, and maybe it's not the show, maybe it's something about, you know, the work or, or, or being together. Um, but, you know, what are some lessons maybe that the two of you have taken away from this show just so far, even here at the very beginning? Well, I, I would say that it is, for, for me through this, the, the, the arc of this character, it's trying to, to stop and, um, and really think about the part that I'm playing in um, in the scope of my life and my relationships and and really to embrace this idea of a, a collective um, experience and if we're if we are having the conversation as we're telling this story we we hope and believe that the audience is, is also having these thoughts and these these conversations with themselves and, and their families and things like that so anyway <laughs> I love that I love that Jessica. I, I mean, I, I learn every night. I learn uh, fr from an acting point of view, I learn watching this cast and this crew and this group of people that make this magic every night. You really, I, I, I struggle to think of, of a group of people that are more dedicated to what they're doing and really give of themselves so, so, so much. Um, and it's not a big segue, but I would say personally, what I learned from that is that being vulnerable, you will be caught you will be helped and you do the same back. And that's how magic happens personally, professionally, everywhere. Yeah, you'll be found, right? Yeah. You will be, I was trying really hard not to do that. You just brought us, I just led you right there. I'll, I'll, I'll do it for you. <laughs> well, and again, that being vulnerable, people being there for each other, that connection. I think you're, you're bringing it all back around together to, and to be able to gather together. And, and in Greensboro, we just like everywhere, we are so happy to be have the opportunity to gather together, together again. We're thrilled that you're going to be in the Tanger Center um, to be there for me and, and, and those that I've talked with. It feels like you're part of something that we have really wanted for so long here in Greensboro. And we're just thrilled for you to be a part of it um, and, and to be in our brand new space space and in our city and in our in our to be our, our friends and our neighbors it's thank a real you. pleasure thank you so much <laughs> well, we look forward to it thanks again thank, thank you. you find out more about dear evan hansen and all the fun happening at the tanger center by going to tangercenter.com